Welcome back to Cave Story. And last time we left off, we entered Santa's house, and now he's gonna give us a reward for finding his key. Death trap to your left. Yeah. Santa, why do you have a death trap in your house? That's a little weird. Do you throw all the elves in there when they be bad and not make toys right? Fireball, yay, you got a new weapon, and this one is going to be very useful in this stage. You have to pass through the fireplace in Chaco's house. Chaco's. I don't know how you pronounce that. But okay, you have to go find this Chaco. And okay, look, see, isn't that so nice? He rolls along the ground so you can hit the guys before they pop up into the air, usually. And it's got pretty long range at level 1. Oh, so much better. Slicious keep walking. Slowly, though, because I don't want to get hurt. Yeah, those big ones do a whole lot of damage to you if they hurt you or sit on you. And there's something up there. I'm probably gonna get. I'll just get it now so I don't have to do it later. Yeah, it's another life capsule. Nice. So now I have 21 health. We're looking pretty good now. <clears throat> the bat there. And yeah, level 3 fireballs, excellent. <laughs> These bats are so annoying. But we'll get something that will help deal with them later. And here's that house that I was talking about. You can see the fireplace over there in the top right. So let's go visit it. Oh, she's a purple Mimiga. Hello there. Goodness, that's a dangerous item you got there. Are you a traveler? Yep, and I want to get through your fireplace, ma'am. Flames are in the way and you can't get past. Oh, you'd like to go through my fireplace? Then you'll need jellyfish juice you can get from the jellies. Jellyfish juice, huh? Uh, I'll rest here first. Refill my health that I forgot if I got hit. Health restored, and what? Uh, okay. That's a little creepy. And I got her lipstick now. What? Okay, whatever. I'm just not gonna say anything about that. Do you want to save? Yes, let's save and then let's just run while she's asleep because she's kind of scary. Oh look, there's jellyfish now. Where were they before? That's weird. They're like out of the water. How do they survive out of the water? Whatever. But the jellyfish juice, we have to go kill a big jellyfish for. It's I can kill this little bat first. Ugh. There's a big jellyfish over here. Somewhere. Near where we got the life capsule.
Please guys make traveling so annoying. So, let's see, there's a bunch of jellyfish over here, so that means we're close. And we actually have to get up on that platform, but before we do, I'm just gonna clear these guys out down here, just in case. Just to be safe. Okay. See the big one way up there? He's the one who drops the jellyfish juice. So we'll just hop on up here. And you kind of want to keep that block intact because it kind of helps you stay alive. See how he just bounces off of it? Open the treasure chest. Yay, got the jellyfish juice. Now, before we go and use it on Chaco's fireplace, I'm going to go and get something else with it because there's a few things that you can get with this jellyfish juice. We're going to go back to the Mamiga village and grab ourselves a new weapon. Now, remember in the assembly hall there was a fireplace? I wonder what happens if you use the jellyfish juice on it. Well, let's go find out. Sue's still locked up. King's still standing there. And here we go. Yes, I do. You find something in the ashes. Yes, a bubbler. This is another weapon. And it's actually kind of nice. Rapid fire. Not yet, though, but see, it shoots little bubbles. Now, that may seem kind of lame right now, but when you get it to level 3, it's pretty nice. So, we'll go back and level this little thing up. And get us another jellyfish juice. Stop following me. Ah, see? Now it has rapid fire. And the bubbles are a little stronger. See, that's a nice weapon, but this isn't as good as it gets yet. Nope. It gets even cooler. Great. Where's level 3? Where's level 3? Yep! Alright. Now look. Isn't that nice? See, they fly around you. Act like a shield. And you can fire them off in any direction. Or they fire off in the direction that you're heading. But if you let go, if you hold down, it makes the shield. If you let go, they all fire off at the same time. Of course, you can't hold it down forever because it's kind of got, sort of kind of got limited ammo like the, um, the rockets, but, um, it refills itself. See, isn't this such a nice weapon? Yeah, we'll just get one more jellyfish juice. And we're still not going back to Shaco. We're going to use this to get something now that we're going to need later. Because I'm not going to feel like walking all the way back to the beginning of the stage for it. And there's a fireplace in Santa's house. Hi Santa Claus! Yep! Find something in the ashes. Charcoal. We're gonna need this later, but not now. I'm just picking it up now. What do you need charcoal for? I'm not entirely sure. I just know I need it. Alright, so now we'll head back 
Tichenko. So many bad guys in the way. Move. I just want to get back to that lady's house. This might be just really nice. I like the burglar. And it doesn't help that they respawn every time you leave the house and or enter a doorway or whatever. Alright. Okay. Now because I'm an idiot, I forgot to pick up another jellyfish juice, so I'm gonna have to run all the way back and get me another one. But, I'll just cut that part out. So, I'll see you guys after I get more jellyfish juice. Okay, so I got the jellyfish juice, now let's use it and move on with this level. Finally. And the fire comes back. Alright. See, this is where the bubbler comes in handy. So glad I have this weapon now, because it would have been annoying if I didn't grab it. Yeah, oh, shoot. I forgot about that. See those, uh... What do you call those tombstone things? They shoot things, they shoot little donuts, flaming donuts at you. If you shoot them. And, um, look what we have here. This is a power room. What's in this room? Well, we'll find out next time when we come back. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.